What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am the GZ guy. Thank you so much for taking time to check in today. You can see the G35 sitting behind me looking clean, but that's not what we're going to be working on or talking about today. So uh, I'd mentioned in the last video that we're going to start doing some work on the uh, 350Z. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick project on that today. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to spin the camera around and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. All right guys, so I had mentioned in the last video as well and kind of previous to that about the uh, front end of this car having the front bumper repainted, replacing the driver's side headlight. I still am going to replace the passenger side headlight and uh, I thought about pulling this eyelid off, but honestly it is on there really good. Not that it can't be done, but for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to restore your headlights if they're fogged up like this. This is a perfect uh, headlight to do it on. And the reason that I'm going to go ahead and just swap out the headlight itself is because I don't know if I'm going to run eyelids and with the fading and stuff, even doing what I'm about to do, I'd have to take a lot of time to get that cleaned up and go from there. And I'm thinking when I do replace the headlights, I might just go with the nice aftermarket set or use these old ones as donors and try my hand at making some custom headlights. So that's the reason behind that. But uh, I've had some people on Instagram and all that good stuff. You know, there, there's videos out there, but I figured I would take my hand at doing one for you guys to show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet sand this down. Um, and I'll go through everything you need here in just one second. But we're going to wet sand it, get it nice and dry. I'm going to go ahead and tape the car off so we don't get any spray over once we uh, hit it with some clear coat. But I'll show you what you need. Just a little bit of soapy water. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just a little bit of soapy water. Gonna need some sandpaper. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I'm gonna be running uh, 220 and 320 grit. And then the uh, Spray Max 2K uh, clear. And get yourself a microfiber towel. And it is a nice day out. So this should dry pretty quick once we get it wet and get it sanded. So give me a second guys, let me get everything uh, prepped, masked off, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so there you have it. The reason I didn't go ahead and wet sand the headlight down first is it's warm out, the car's nice and dry, so that way my uh, plastic bag would stick to it. All I did was get a garbage bag, flatten it out, tape it down to the car, then I took a razor blade, went around the seams of the uh, headlight here, so that way it would have my shape and form that I wanted. And then I took uh, painter's tape and got down in there so we don't get any overspray on the paint job underneath. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and wet sand down the headlight. You don't have to soak it. I'm going to go ahead and take a rag, basically dampen down the headlight, get the sandpaper, start sanding. I will uh, try to get the camera set up here really quick so that way we can get you uh, a good angle and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so just like that, we're going to go ahead and wet down the headlight. A little soapy water. I'm gonna start off with the uh, 320 grit. And just nice and even nice and evenly and smooth. Little circles over the headlight. So with it being so uh, warm out right now, just make sure you keep wetting it while you're doing it. Try to stay in one direction. All right guys, so there you have it after I sanded it. I apologize, my camera fell uh, while I was sanding, but I hit it with the 320 and the 220. So it should look hazy after you guys get done like that. Um, just go over it. Remember, take your time guys, there's no rush. 
Uh, once we hit it with the clear coat, it's going to shine this back up. So I'm going to go ahead and get that prepped and we'll spray it on and I'll show you guys. Um, unfortunately, with the angle in front of this car, I don't have anywhere to set my camera, so it's kind of tricky. I'll do my best to uh, film spraying down that clear coat here in just a second. I'm going to let this get nice and dry and we'll go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, so we're just going to go nice and smooth over it here. So I'm going to go ahead and let that coat dry, nice thin coat, and then I'm going to go over it a couple more times and I'll show you guys what we have in just a couple minutes. All right guys, there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry up and then I'm going to take uh, some polish. I'll polish it, get it looking uh, definitely better than it did. It's still not perfect. That headlight was pretty bad, but hopefully that will help you guys. If you have headlights, you don't have the money to put new headlights on the car, give you an idea of what you can do to refresh the headlights you do have. Um, that headlight was pretty bad, but it definitely looks better than it did. Fairly straightforward, pretty simple uh, process to do. Remember guys, take your time in doing your prep work. There's no hurry. Just sand it down, wet sand it down, go ahead and let it dry out, and then hit a light coat, a little bit heavier coat, and then afterwards, I personally like to go ahead and polish it, and then I'll hit it with some uh, ceramic coating just to help protect it. Again, this headlight is going to come off the car just because I don't want to mess around with that eyelid. And I'm probably going to do some aftermarket uh, headlights or something like that. I haven't quite figured that out. But I wanted to go ahead and get that video made for you guys, just in case you were unaware of that process and uh, what to do. But definitely looks a lot lot better it's not all hazy like it was and uh definitely has a lot clearer uh resolution like the driver's side headlight so i'm gonna go ahead and get all the masking off here like i said i'm gonna polish that that's pretty straightforward i don't think you guys necessarily need to have me show you how to uh, polish i assume most of you uh either have waxed or polished your car at some point in time with that said, guys, waiting for those uh, carbon fiber infinity uh, badges to get here. We'll be doing a giveaway and get uh, those out to a few of you guys. I still haven't quite narrowed it down or decided how we're going to go about that. Uh, but that's where I think we're going to end today's video. As always, guys, remember the most important thing you can do. Be kind to each other. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.